Zappos.com, that's the popular online shoe store owned by Amazon.com, was recently the victim of a major cyber attack. Personal information of more than 24 million users was stolen. So what kind of information do the hackers now have? And will this affect you if you have an Amazon account? Hey, Monique is the founder of SSP Blue, a cybersecurity advisory firm. He's also the former chief security officer for News Corp. That is the parent of this network, Fox Business. Hey, Mo, welcome to the show. Okay, well, what happened here? Help us understand in simple terms. Well, hi, Jerry. I got to tell you, 2011, we were saying, was the year of this cyber crime. 2012 is starting to do the same thing. Because, in essence, what these hackers did with one entry into their system is steal 24 million customers' information, everything from names, email addresses, home addresses, telephone numbers, and the last four digits of the credit card. But That's not the full credit card number, right? Not the full credit no. card number. Exactly, it's small not comfort, the full credit frankly. card number. It's actually great. It is great comfort because, um, but at the same time, for Zappos, and I think their CEO said it very nicely when he wrote in that memo. Uh, Tony Shea said they've been spent 12 or 10 years building their trust and reputation with their users. Hackers came in and just destroyed all that, and that I think is something that everybody out right. there who's a company needs to think about. You know, one of our producers uh, got one of these e emails. Here's how it reads, the yeah. email you're talking about. We are writing to let you know. What if you got this this morning? Think about it. We are writing to let you know there may have been illegal and unauthorized access to some of your customer account information, including your name, email address, billing, shipping address, just what you were saying, phone number, the last four digits of your credit card, but not your actual password. You know, clearly hackers are getting into everything now, but it's really up to the company to make sure this doesn't happen. Uh, does Zappos have adequate protection? Does Amazon have adequate protection? Well, I think if I was a customer of Zappos, I would, well, do what they're saying, change your password. But if you used Amazon, do the same thing, because you never know when companies own a different subsidiary. They may be connected on the back end. But in terms of protection, I think I can say this. Zappos has done something well, because they had encrypted their passwords. That's a huge step in the right direction. Now, one thing that I think companies can learn from is the fact that the hacker came in and took so many different types of information tells me or at least suggests that the way it was stored was when you come in through the front door, you break that door down, which the hackers did. The question is, are all the other doors inside the house left open in all the other rooms? I think companies paying attention to this need to say to themselves, outside in, got to put up the defenses, inside well, around, put a lock on every door so right, the hacker well, says, this is too much of a pain. To, to that point, if I'm a small business operator yeah. and I'm worried about hackers, to my clients, what should I be doing? Well, one of the best things you can do is there's lots of companies out there. We did it recently for another company is red team your site, what I call red team your site. Bring in white hat hackers who are on your side, have good them guys. break in, tell them <laughs> and the good guys, and they can tell you. They won't take it away and run. They'll actually say, look what I can take. We'll help you figure out how to fix it. And if you change anything, let's say you're adding a new product line, you're changing a feature on the site. Hack it in, hack again, do what we call hack and penetration testing. And then finally, secure education for, or secure coding education for your engineers or your outside company. Ask that company, are you teaching your engineers how to securely code whatever they're writing in the bits and pieces they do online? All right, Hamu, great stuff. Thanks for coming on tonight. We really mm -hmm. appreciate it. And keep in mind here, folks, Hamu said if you are an Amazon customer, customer, you might as well change your password now. Good advice from an expert.